Is it a good time to invest? Hey guys, it's Chris Tan, your Bitcoin buddy. And one of the most common questions I get asked is, is this a good time to invest? So before I answer the question, I'll just give you guys a disclaimer that what I'm giving you is not financial advice. And I encourage you to do your own research and please invest at your own risk. Okay. And only invest what you can afford to lose. What I'm doing is just giving you my opinion for entertainment purposes. Okay. So here is the short, long answer of it. Yes, it's a good time to invest. Now, why is it a good time to invest right now? Okay, let's talk about a couple of things. Number one, the market is so down right now. The crypto market for the altcoins are down by about at least 80 to 90%. That's the altcoins I hold. And Bitcoin is down at least 60% and so is Ethereum. With those levels right now, I think it's pretty cheap to buy any of the cryptocurrencies. Having said that, what would happen and uh, would there be a chance for the price to go lower? Yes, there is a chance that Bitcoin could go lower and Ethereum could go lower. Um, Bitcoin can do $10,000. Some of the analysts are saying that they expect Bitcoin to drop to $10,000. I actually don't think so, but I could be wrong. But my opinion is the reason I think it's not going to go to $10,000 is this. I think that at the price of nineteen to twenty thousand dollars, I saw that there was support. It's now flat at about nineteen to twenty thousand dollars. Number one, number two, it's flat because I believe that the financial industry, the financial markets, have already factored in all the different possible scenarios with regards to the Fed increasing the interest rates and all the other Fed policies, crypto regulations, and all the other geopolitical issues such as the Ukraine war and everything else. So given that they've factored it all in, this is what I believe that the financial markets deem as the fair market value of Bitcoin and that adds and includes all other cryptocurrencies including Ethereum and everything else. So that's why I think the nineteen to twenty thousand dollars is cheap for Bitcoin, and I actually bought some Bitcoin already and some Ethereum at these prices. Now, do I think there's a chance it's going to go lower? Yes, there's always a possibility it could go lower, and if it does, I plan to buy more. So, what is my next buy point? If Bitcoin hits fifteen thousand dollars, I'm buying more. If Ethereum hits, uh, say seven hundred dollars, I'm buying more. If it goes much lower than that, definitely I'm buying more. I doubt it'll go lower than that, but anything can happen. So what my strategy is this, and what I would recommend for those that would like to invest in cryptocurrency right now, let's say, for example, you want to invest $1,000. What you should do is invest $500 first, right now at these prices, and then wait to see what will happen. If the price starts to go up, then you can possibly place the other 500 and catch this wave going up already. But if you wait and then suddenly the price goes down, wait for it to hit an, um, maybe at least a 25 to 30% drop and then you can buy the other 50% that you were planning to invest in the first place. That way you can cost average down. Now, honestly, for first time investors and people that don't follow the markets, the crypto markets, I would advise you to just invest in Bitcoin and Ethereum. Those are safe investments. Everything else is high risk and you could lose pretty much everything. What events could lead to cryptocurrency and the financial markets dropping more than where it is today. The only thing that I can imagine that could collapse the financial markets right now is unexpected geopolitical events or unexpected moves by the feds. But let's talk about the unexpected geopolitical events. For example, if Putin decides to press the nuclear button or decides to invade other countries or declare World War III, that could definitely drop the price of the financial markets, drop everything in the financial markets, not just crypto, but everything else. Um, So that's one possible scenario. Now, given that right now it looks like Putin has calmed down and is not going to do anything stupid at this point, plus I don't think he has the military might to be able to to invest in any other country, I think we're pretty much settled at Putin just trying to take pieces of Ukraine and Ukraine's going to fight back. And honestly, Russia, I don't think they're going to be able to do much at this point. They're depleted. And with that, I think that's where I see the stability where it's not going to get worse from where it's at today. At least I hope not. Um, So 
Aside from that, maybe if the Fed decides to reverse their action in some weird way to be able to affect the market and you know really plunge it down to a major depression, I think we're pretty good where we're at right now. So that's that's pretty much it. So given that, yes, I'm putting more money and I'm investing right now and I'm cost averaging on some other altcoins that I've lost about 90% in, and I'm pretty much getting ready for the next bull run. Now, the next bull run, I honestly think, at the longest, it'll be 2025. So I'm prepared to wait till 2025 to reap the benefits of whatever investments I'm going to make today. I hope the information I gave you guys is useful. And if you like the information, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the link below and click on the notification bell so you're notified of my latest videos. Thanks so much, guys. This is Chris Tan, your Bitcoin buddy. I'll see you on the next video.